Sunny. The Rick Stacy Morning Show with Jill and Smokestack. Johnny Depp and Amber Heard's trial yesterday. Obviously, we know Johnny was an addict and he did do a lot of drugs, but there was one incident that Amber said he used a lot of MDMA, which is like Molly, and he's denying that. Have you ever consumed eight to 10 MDMA pills at once? Kill you. No, ma'am. No, I have not. And why is that? Um, because I'd be dead. I'm pretty sure <laughs> That's I'd be the dead. stupidest question I've <laughs> That's so crazy. You know, I don't really know how we did this, but he's on the line before he heads to court again. The closing arguments are tomorrow. Uh, I, I think we have him on, right? The one and only Johnny Depp. Good morning, sir. Yes, hello. Hello, Rick Stacy and Jill and Smokestack. I think that'd be my nickname if I worked on a radio show, Smokestack. Or uh, maybe Dr. Smirnoff. <laughs> no, Mr. Johnny Walker Black. Johnny Walker Black, that's it. So uh, it all comes down to this. Closing arguments are coming up soon. How are you doing? You know, before we get to anything else, I just want to take a moment to thank all my wonderful female fans who've shown up at my trial week after week, each and every day. Your support means the world to me, and I love you. And I mean that in a platonic way. But I do have a really, really bad drinking problem, so you never know. You know what I mean. Well, Johnny, it's hard to believe, but your defamation trial is almost over. Uh, what are you going to do with all the extra free time you'll have uh, when this wraps up? Well, for one thing, I finally have time for some of my favorite hobbies. Uh, for instance, there's nothing I really enjoy more than spending a lazy Sunday afternoon passed out on the couch. <laughs> I enjoy a good night's sleep, you know, sure, like anybody, but there's nothing quite like a light drug-induced coma to move the day along. Uh, what will you fill your time with, though, for real? Well, I might take some courses on uh, first aid. You know, I never again want to be in a position where I have a, a severed finger or limb and I don't know how to reattach it. <laughs> I also might spend some time on Tinder. I mean, why meet a gold-digging future ex-wife the, the old-fashioned way when you can do it in half the time using an app? Okay, well, the world wants to know, Johnny Depp, are you dating your lawyer, Camilla Vasquez? She laughed off the question when she was asked, but people are speculating. What can you tell us? Come on. Well, I mean, let's look at the facts. Um, Camille has a great job. She's intelligent, sensible, totally not my type she showers regularly doesn't do heroin never poops the bed <laughs> i mean you think i would date someone like that you haven't been paying attention though i have to say i was kind of amused that camille responded to the question by laughing it off usually the only time she ever laughs like that is when i ask her if she'd like to meet captain jack's little sparrow <laughs> Johnny, one part of Amber's testimony uh, struck me the other day. She said that the reason she punched you in the face during a March 2015 altercation is because she was afraid you were going to shove her sister, Whitney, down a flight of stairs. That seems like quite a stretch. Do you think the jury is buying any of that? Well, what I do know is Amber's testimony is indeed being believed, but only by Amber. I mean, it's not exactly true. I'm trying to be kind, but Amber would have to be a much better actress for even Amber to believe it. And we do know that's not happening anytime soon. <laughs> so, in fact, my dearly departed mother had a name for women like Amber. Uh, uh, really? What's that? Deceitful lying whore. Oh, I see. Yeah, but frankly, I don't remember being punched in the face by her. Well... To put, it, put it another way, I, I don't remember feeling a punch in the face from Amber. That's the beauty of being under the influence 36 hours a day. <laughs> I actually haven't felt my face since the late 80s. <laughs> oh, and speaking of frightening women, do you know, uh, I heard you talk about Kate, but my former lover Ellen Barkin testified against me as well. Did you know that? I did see that. She, she gave testimony on video and she's had so much plastic surgery over the years and with all her white hair the judge actually thought I was screwing an Andy Warhol impersonator <laughs> <laughs> well if we could get serious for a moment Johnny what has been the most difficult or the most challenging part uh, of dealing with this whole trial on a personal level for you well it's it's been the, a long several weeks that's for sure the toughest part has been staying sober. It's been kind of a new experience for me. You know, there's actually been multiple hours, long 
periods of time where I've maintained feeling in all all my extremities. <laughs> it's, it's been extraordinary, but I have to say, this trial has presented so many arduous challenges, like reliving a painful marriage, mm. hearing Amber tell countless lies about me, mm. Being away from my impressive collection of vintage scarves. <laughs> do do I wear my hair up in a bun or down in the mop top today? It, it's very confusing. Being forced to sit in one place instead of wandering around while my barbiturates take effect. <laughs> Not knowing if my assistant is properly washing and storing my scarves back in Los Angeles, not getting to smell my scarves. Did I, did I mention the scarves already? Yeah, you did. Yeah. Yeah, it's it's been rough, Rick. Well, we gather that. So, uh, what's your prediction for the trial's outcome? Any idea which way the jury will go with these hours and hours of testimony? Where are they going with this? Okay, I I'm gonna blow your mind right now. Are you ready? Mm. Ready. This trial will not have an outcome because when you think about it aren't we all on trial what? we're put on trial every day by our lovers our families by our own minds we're all innocent and guilty sometimes the judge is a judge sometimes it's the memory of your gym coach from 10th grade what? sometimes the judge is a talking porcupine okay but to answer your question, yes, I just took some acid and now the phone is melting. <laughs> I hope that clears things up. Not, not really, but uh, thank you, Johnny Depp, for coming on uh, 105.9 Sunny FM and talking with us. Me and you're, you're welcome, and thank you for, for having me. I, I'm just glad it was over the phone. No, my hair isn't ready for court TV, let alone a Zoom video. Something tells me it's going to be a ponytail day, guys. <laughs> it's the Rick Stacy Show with Jill and Smokestack.